Does the direction of how we model our walls matter? And if so, which way is correct? Well, I'm curious how many of you actually think about this while you're modeling your walls. And as a little quiz here, we're going to see if you know which one of these two options, A or B, is going to be correct. Well, number one, how do we even determine what direction our wall is going? Well, if we zoom in here a little bit, you can see that there's actually a blue reference line here. And there's a little arrow here that's pointing in the direction of right to left on our option B, left to right. And we have changed these reference lines. It's actually a setting that's under the basic wall structure. You can go in there and change that. Uh, it's the cut fill line. And uh, that's how we change those colors. But to note how to even turn these on, we want to just make sure that under our on-screen uh, view options, we can turn this off and on by using this toggle right here for wall and beam reference lines. Okay, so let's do the test. Let's try to see if we can figure out which one of these is in the correct position. So let's start with option A and see if you got this right. Uh, we will use a rectangular option here and let's just click and see if we are right. Okay, so our exterior or brick veneer in this case is actually on the inside, which tells us that this is incorrect. Now, of course, we could kind of fake this through with a, uh, a continuous type of wall and we could go in the clockwise direction here and actually put this on the outside. But anytime that we are modeling with a rectangular method or even with a magic wand method, this is going to be in the incorrect position. So let's just do some quick tests on this here and make sure. So we'll draw some wall or some lines. We'll pick this up and let's just eyedropper. And yes, this is in the incorrect position because our exterior face is on the inside. All right, and quick note here, we can flip our walls around easily by selecting them, and we have this option right here, which is our reference line location. We can flip these. So this is essentially how walls go from being correct, as we are seeing right here, to incorrect. So I just wanted to make that quick note. And just to double check here, let's go to our counterclockwise direction here if we're looking at this and the way that we can tell this is counterclockwise is each one of these is pointing in that direction so we are working counterclockwise this is how archicad automatically draws our walls for us so that's an important thing to note is the software is trying to tell us something here when we are clicking in an a rectangular direction and it doesn't matter even what direction we're clicking like regardless of whether we start from the top right to the bottom left here or if we go from the bottom right to the top left our walls will always come in in that counterclockwise direction and again the reason this is correct is because our exterior is on the outside so let's take these two walls. We've already determined that option B is correct. So uh, I'm curious how many of you got that, that answer correct. Uh, leave it in the comment sections if you knew the right one. And let's talk a little bit more about why this matters. So when we're looking at our labels and our labels for walls here, uh, typically we're going to have some sort of label that's going to extract a wall type for us and the labels that i find most useful for this are the property label and the ncs wall label there's also the skin list label what's interesting about all three of these is these all have options for having a flipped label position and it's really annoying if you find yourself always going back in and having to flip this label it means that we don't necessarily have it planned very well what direction our wall is going and what position our label should be in. So let's have a second question here. Which one do you think is correct for our walls? We already determined that this one was incorrect, our wall direction. Uh, which label do we think is going to be correct for our correct wall? So is it the non-flip or is it the flip version? Let's try our non-flip first and see how it comes in. So ideally, we would want this position to be on the outside of the wall. So down here, and let's see, does it work? No, it doesn't. Our non-flip does not work for our correct wall. Does it work for our incorrect wall? It does. Okay, so you will you can see here, same label, two different directions and how that was applied. So this is an important thing to just note and to uh, recognize is our label type and our wall orientation 
uh, needs to be in alignment here. So if we have an exterior wall label in a flip position, then that works for our correct wall. It does not work for our incorrect wall. So you can see how those get reversed. Same thing with the NCS wall label. It should work on this wall and it uh, doesn't necessarily work for that one. The skinless label is one of those that's a little bit different than how it functions. Uh, yes, it does work if we wanted the head of this and the listing to be on the outside or the bottom in this case. Um, let's pull this way out. But does it work on this one? Well, it doesn't flip around. These are a little bit unique. And if we actually want it to be on the top, then we use a flipped position on this one. So it uh, typically with these, I'll use, I won't use this automated head. I'll use the, uh, the picked position label instead. But I just want to note that that one is a little bit unique. Okay, so next up, where this becomes even more important, is when we want to include a surface keynote label. So because we can auto extract our surfaces and it's important to note which surface we're going to be pulling from our surface one, which in this case we typically use as our exterior. So we want to make sure that that's in the right position and our surface two, which is our interior, we want that to be in the correct position, obviously. Now, if we were to flip these around and go and our incorrect wall position, then obviously we're having issues and problems here and it's not very clear where what our labels are, are doing there. So, um, so yeah, hopefully this gives you a, a little bit more confidence in terms of how you are modeling your walls. Let's just do a quick final check here as we're closing out this topic. So it doesn't matter. Yes, it does. And if we want our exterior wall labels to be on the outside, then we certainly will want to be using them in this uh, condition with them being flipped. And if we want our surfaces to be correct, then yes, all those are working. And then our interior surface, obviously, we want that to be on the interior. So, okay, I hope you enjoyed this short video here on wall uh, direction and labeling and flipping of labels. I hope it gives you a little more insight into this topic so that when you're working with your walls in the future, you have a quick way of just checking to make sure that your wall reference lines are going in the correct direction. It should always be counterclockwise. And, um, yeah, if you want to learn more about this topic, we go a little bit deeper into this on a blog. I'll post the link in the description. But thanks for your time here today. Uh, we'll be back with more Archicad videos very soon, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.